Why, hello and welcome back to more Pokemon Ultra Moon Post Game Guide. Today on the channel Mega Dennis Menace, and of course, my name is Dennis Jones and I like to play video games. Today we are going to tackle the best way to level up your Pokemon. But first, I'm going to show you guys where you can get the Lucky Egg. It's right after you defeat the Elite Four, and you just go back to Professor Kukui's room. Or house, or words. And we got people talking at us already. Oh, Dennis, you look well. Hey there, champion. You already know how rad Z-moves are, yeah? Um, uh, uh-huh. So those Z-crystals you collected on your island challenge are coming in handy, eh? But where does that awesomeness of Z-moves come from? That's been one of the themes of my research into Pokemon moves. It all starts with your Z powering, yeah? Forged by the sparkling stone you got straight from Tapu Koko. When you use your Z crystals, it brings you and your Pokemon together. Yes, it seems that some sort of invisible bond is created between a trainer and their Pokemon. Yeah, a trainer sends their physical and mental energy, and their Pokemon are surrounded by an aura. So, what is it that allows a trainer to send their power to a Pokemon? Probably the Sparkling Stone? Don't know. Yeah, it's the Z-Power Ring, made from a refined Sparkling Stone. That changes a trainer's power into light and gives their Pokemon an aura. Then there is the light pouring into Alola from the Ultra Wormhole that Nunala opened up. That's an important point! Could Sparkling Stones have also come through the Ultra Wormhole and landed here in Alola? A long, long ago, Necrozma lost part of its body. At least, that's what the Ultra Recon Squad said. If you combine my theory with what we've heard from the Ultra Recon Squad, the Sparkling Stones themselves might be that part of Necrozma's body that it lost. If that's the case, then Necrozma... When it's with you, Dennis, it could get back that part of itself that it once lost. Oh, so that's how it be can become, um, its final form. Or Ultra Necrozma? It might just be a theory, but you are one awesome trainer, Dennis. And Necrozma, in its own way, is a is an awesome Pokemon. He, <laughs> I heard about from Corliss, yeah? He told me that... He you gave Lunala's life to Necrozma. Yes, and then Necrozma could change back into it that brilliant form. I've heard old stories about how Necrozma was driven back by the light. But maybe people were just giving it the light it needed. Someday I hope I can use Z-Move with my with the Pokemon too. Alright, thanks to my assistant Lilia. And the champion himself, Dennis. Oh yeah. I was finally able to unlock one piece. Kukui was able to unlock one piece. Uh. <laughs> I was finally able to unlock one piece of the Z-Move too. Woohoo. But the mechanism of exactly how Z-Moves work remains shrouded in mystery, yeah? I'm still counting on both of you to help me figure it all out. Well, okay. Mm. That cutscene was not what we needed to get the, uh, <laughs> the egg from, but um, if he's standing here, he'll give you the lucky egg. Hey there, Dennis. Looks like you're really giving it your all, yeah? You've got a lot of Pokemon registered in your Pokedex now. I think you have to have like 60 in order for this or uh, something? Of course he has. He is my big boy. Okay. He feels up my... <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> that could go wrong really fast. Okay, he fills up my deck, so I have a great time. Sure, glad I ended up in here. Hand in his hands, words. Oh, it's hard to read what he says there. I was <laughs> pretty fired up about it too. Of course I am too. So I've got a little something for you. There we go. One lucky egg, please, Kukui. Thank you. Now we could put this on a special certain Pokemon. When you have a Pokemon hold Lucky Egg, it grows faster, some evolve 
Pokemon don't appear in the wild, so it's useful to have one of these to try to get it. Yeah, you're trying to fill the Pokedex, and we are, we are, we are, we are, we totally are filling the Pokedex. This, we're gonna try to this episode by doing the high, the best way to level up a Pokemon. Firstly and foremostly, let's give this to Cosmog because yes, last episode I showed you guys how to get a Cosmog, and I was kind of um saddened by how he has such a little moves and and ah, uh, <laughs> so so kind of annoying. To run with. There you are, Lucky Egg. Alright. Now that Cosmog has Lucky Egg on, we can go and do this thing. Now, I've also put the starters in the party because I need evolved forms of them, so... Which they evolve at level 17. So I'm gonna stop then and get collect and go grab more Pokemon to evolve. Now, the best place to get experience in the game is battling chances. So, there's only one place to do that, which is on Pony Island, and I believe it's up here in the Pony Meadow. So we'll make our way towards the bush that we need to do this at. Okay, so you see that shaking bush over here? This is where we go ahead and fight a chancy. We have a small chance of finding Chansey by doing this, so we're gonna start things off by saving the game, and if we don't encounter one, we can just soft reset, because I think we have to re-enter the area in order to refresh it. So, which isn't a bad thing to do, to be able to do either, but nonetheless, now we're going to also, once we get our Chansey, we're gonna SOS chain it, so that it will bring more and more Chanseys. And we'll defeat it. So, firstly and foremostly, we need to have a Pokemon in the lead party that has either Pressure, Intimidate, or Unnerve. And Gyarados has Intimidate, so I think so anyway. Good check. Yes, he has Intimidate. And Garchomp is in the party because we need someone to bring down its HP with False Swipe. So that's the other factor that we need to have someone that it, the Pokemon will call for something, for a friend. And we also need to bring with us a lot of uh, adrenaline orbs, and those allow us to ha have the Pokemon call more than once per battle, once we use them. Because it, so in this game, they only do it once, they only call for a friend once per battle. Another way to bring up your experience also is to Turn on experience Rotom power. Do I have such a thing? Oh yeah, I do have one. I have 11 of them. Nice. Well, that would be handy. Very, very handy. I'm not going to turn that on just yet. Just, I'm probably going to have to switch in from Garchomp to Gyarados, actually. Because Gyarados will keep the Intimidate on, but we need to get the HP down first. That's my line of thought anyway, so hopefully that's right. Actually, I should go ahead and turn on the Rotom experience boost. There we go! Save again so I don't have to turn it on when we, when we don't get our Chansey. And now, let's go in and see if we get our Chansey. Scyther. Alright. We'll try again. Aw, that was a waste. I've used up my one Roto experience points. Well, okay then. Yeah, I do not recommend soft resetting when you have Roto experience points on because we just used one up. We, I guess we'll just have to battle whatever is here if we have this on. Which means I'll have to leave the area, but I think it's worth having. So let's go ahead and see what we get this time. Oh, it's a cottony. Hmm. Or no, not cottony, it's Patilly. Cottony's in the other game. <laughs> okay, a one hit KO from Garchomp's crunch attack to Patilly. And Cosmog's already 
getting those levels of eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Nice! Oh wow, how many more? Okay, 13. 13's where we stop. So yes, we now get to see how much Rotom power, Rotom experience power, will be able to give us through that. It takes me a little bit more time to find Chansey though, because of its 20% encounter rate. So with that being said, I'm going to forego any of the other encounters that I get. Until we meet up with Chansey. Chances are I'm gonna run out of the Rotom power by then though. But uh, I'll check in with you guys when that when we finally meet Chansey, because she is the most she is the Pokemon that Chansey is the Pokemon that gives us the most experience in the game. And so if you could combine that with Rotom Power and everything else, that'd be great. We'll be just racking into the levels. But at this point, right now, at this point, because everyone's so low level, everyone's going to gain levels quicker than when they are at higher levels. But nonetheless, Chansey will still be your best bet for getting all those experiences aside from going up against the Elite Four, which we're not able to do yet. Okay. So I'll meet you again when I see, finally encounter that Chansey. See ya. Of course, this wouldn't be happening if I did not have Experience Share turned on. So that's also a main thing to remember to do as well when you're trying to level up weaker Pokemon. But I'm sure that pretty much goes without saying. Chansey, you're a bust! There we go! We got ourselves a Chansey, finally! Okay! Now I could finally try this SOS battling and show you guys how much experience that brings up. You know, I wonder if we can use the experience points now. It might take a turn, but you know, Nope. No, it won't let us. Okay. Oh, I already have Chansey. Well, okay. That's good. That means we don't have to uh, attack it. Alright, let's start things off by false swiping. Bop. There we go. Oh, it was a critical hit. Well, oh, good job, Garchomp. Of course, it brings up light screen. Now, the fun th thing about Chansey is that she doesn't really have any attacks that can hurt you that much. Which is great. So we're gonna switch into our Gyarados for Intimidate. And I think after that turn, we will just throw an Adrenaline Orb at it too. Just for added measure to make her call some a friend. Again with Light Screen. Okay! Wrong button. Alright, where are those adrenaline orbs? I thought all the Rotom things were all under the Rotom category. That's funny that they have just added it here. What's really boost? Raises all the stats. Okay, yeah. Oh, but there's our adrenaline orb right there. Okay, finally found it. <laughs> Alright, let's throw it over. I purchased 30 just for this episode. Well, its friend didn't appear, but you'll notice that we can use another Adrenaline Orb and next turn it'll still just be 29 because we already put one out. It only works after it's called its friend. So that's a good thing to note, so we're not going to be wasting Adrenaline Orbs by doing this. Yeah, had no effect. There goes Egg Move, but Egg Bomb rather, but we missed it. There we go! There's its friend! Now... Let's go ahead and fight this thing. Um... Crunch is probably effective. Here we go. <laughs> wow. Took it down right away. Alright. Cosmog! 
getting lots of experience. 23! Learn Teleport, the only other move it learns. Ooh, wants to learn Bite. Well, let's see, let's teach it Bite then. Yeah, let's give it. Let's get rid of Scratch. Bye bye, Scratch. Ooh, Bubble Bean. Alright, Brioni. Brioni? I don't know, how do you say this one? Now let's get rid of Aqua Gun, Water Gun. Bye bye, water gun. Hello, bubble beam. <laughs> Man, everyone's gaining all the XPs. Luck. Sure, let's get rid of Peck. Alright. Chatsy is again calling for help. Awesome. And there we are, we have another one. Awesome. Great! This works really nicely. Another one crunch to give the chancy that's full has full HP. There we go. And it's optimal to have your lead Pokemon be at level 100, because that way all the experience goes to everyone else in the party. But since my gear I don't have anyone at level 100, to be quite honest. But it's still fine that he gets some experience too. So this would really help everyone get up to almost uh, even up to level 70. Because these Pokemon garner the most experience in the whole game. Chanseys and Blissies. And Blissies give a bit more, but you know, Chanseys are no kick in the face, either. <laughs> well, you don't, don't cry if you're not getting any Chanseys. Or just getting Chansey, is basically what I'm trying to say. Swagger, hmm, that's an interesting move. Do I really want Swagger? The answer is no. No, I do not want Swagger. Sing? Do I want Sing? No. No, I do not want Sing. Let's keep going. Those, those levels just keep climbing. This is great. We might just get to evolve our uh, Cosmog from this. Chance to call for help yet again. But it didn't appear. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, I guess that means we could throw another, and yet another adrenaline orb at it. Yep. It still only used the one from before, because it had no effect. It's still just gonna use the one. We're <laughs> just gonna stick with 29. Nice. Until we encounter another one. So let's keep this. Let's keep this experience cha chain rolling. All right, Cosmog. All right, learning fear is why it's cool. Let's get rid of double kick. All right, another move to learn: double slap. You know what? No, I don't want to learn double slap. An HP restoring move. Yes, please. Yeah, Leafage, you are the weakest link. Goodbye. Okay, now the Chansey's help didn't appear and lunch is awaiting me. <laughs> so guys, this is basically how you can get yourself a whole bunch of experience. Let me just see. I can't even remember what we levels we were when we started, but I think we were... We were level 15, I think, or 17 for most of these guys. And we went up a good 10 levels just from fighting three, three chances. And now this will be the fourth once I knock it out. So let's do it. Let's knock this one out. Put it out of its misery and such. Cosmog is now level 30. 35 for Terra Cat. 34. Ooh, we're gonna evolve uh, Primarina. Nice. And a Terra Cat to Incineroar. Here we go.
Yes, we're gonna learn its signature move, a Darkest Lariat. I think we'll just get rid of Fury Swipes, because that's lame. Ah! Alright! Of course, we are going to teach it Sparkling Aria. That's a water move? Okay. Bubble Beam can go. Alright, look at our team now! We've got two, two final evolved starters, and these were all from starting at level 15 when we first started this whole campaign for getting experience. Cosmog started at level 5 and now he's up to level 30. Not just from... Unfortunately, not just from uh, Bliss, uh, Chansey and Blissey alone, but... That's fine. So guys, I hope you employ this in trying to get Pokemon leveled up in your own games and let me know if there's any uh, better ideas for doing this, for gaining faster levels once you get past level 50. Alright guys, thank you so much for tuning in. We will catch you in the next video where I'm still not sure what I'm going to do next, but we'll find out then. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.